What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about that Jamal Hill versus Glover Teixeira title match. Jamal Hill got it done, but damn, it wasn't easy. That was not a gimme fight on any level. Glover Teixeira showing that legendary toughness. He truly is the Brazilian Rocky. I mean, he just takes so much damage and just keeps coming forward, putting that pressure on you. And multiple times in that fight, it looked like Glover was done. The guy rallies back, has more moments. Simply incredible. But onto the new champ, Jamal Hill, showing an evolution in skill, showed some pretty great takedown defense overall, some great grappling defense, manages to get back up to his feet multiple times. Glover was threatening with that arm triangle. That's a bread and butter submission for him. Just Glover's top pressure in general. He gets on top of you and you're in trouble. Not a lot of guys survive Glover Teixeira's grappling and top pressure. Jamal Hill did. What else I could say about the fight? Jamal was certainly having success with that left high kick. I like how he was mixing it up, going to the body, going up top. Glover Teixeira pretty much eating them. He would put his hand in the way to block. But those kicks still rattle you even if you block them. Make no mistake about that. A lot of those sequences looked worse than what they were. Half of those punches weren't landing on Glover. He was using good head movement. He was rolling with a lot of shots. He was blocking and deflecting a lot of them. But of course, he was he was getting battered as well. Jamal just hits hard, man. He can miss seven shots out of ten. Three hit you and they're going to bust you up and hurt you. And he starches people. He puts people out. Glover Teixeira doesn't get knocked out. I mean, again, that's just another testament to... The legendary Glover Teixeira. The only quote chinks in the armor or like weaknesses that I see in Jamal Hill is that he likes to do the pullback counter and it's and it's a risky thing to do. Also on his exits, his chin is just like up in the air. But what he's doing is he's trying to like keep range to counter and also like have a perfect field of view to see what's coming and what's going on. So if you notice, he doesn't really like duck his head he doesn't tuck his chin as traditional strikers do. He's very like loosey-goosey, unorthodox, but it works for him. I mean, some people might exploit that. We'll see. Nobody has yet. Jamal Hill's a problem. He is very problematic for a lot of people. I think he's deceptively strong. I think he is more skilled than what people think all around. He's got a hell of a chin. He's got knockout power. He does have the cardio and gas tank to go five rounds. In a war, high-paced fight, he's a problem. Let's see how long Jamal Hill keeps this belt. He may go on some legendary run. Glover Teixeira, once again, what a legend. A salute to you, sir, for such a remarkable career. You reach the top of the mountain. You truly are the Brazilian Rocky. Jamal Hill, you're the man. New UFC light heavyweight champ. Guys, let me know what you thought about the fight in the comment section. What did you think of Glover Teixeira's performance, his toughness? What did you think of Jamal Hill, his growth and skills, his evolution, his composure? I thought he looked pretty good. Thanks for watching this segment, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, take care.